Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 17th video in Windows Server 2016 step by step tutorial and in this video today I am going to show you how to install and configure DFS namespace full step by step on 2016 server. So we have a, D a DFS option which is called distributed file system uh, which uh, by using DFS we can we can create a share folder which can be distributed from distributed uh, on different different file server but we can provide the same namespace on all the for the all the share folder uh, to all the users so we'll see how it's work and how to configure and install these things so in this video I'm going to show you DFS namespace uh, installation and creation and in next video I will you know, follow the DFS replication how DFS replication goes so here is my demo environment we are using three virtual machine here the first machine is Win2K16 DC01 which is my Active Directory server and also we have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server my domain name is victorinfosol.com and the second machine is Win2K16 DFS01 which, which is basically going to be a DFS server in our infrastructure I have assigned this uh, 8GB RAM to this machine and machine in join in my domain so let's see these two machines so the first one is win2k16 dc01 which is my domain control here you can verify active directory and dns role is running on this machine and second one is dfs01 I, I don't have installed any role any feature on this machine yet what we have done we have installed a simply operating system 2016 standard and i have renamed this machine configured ip address and the machine is joined in my domain here you can see all the details and my dfs server had two drive here you can see the first drive is operating system drive which is OS disk and second is 200 GB DFS volume I have created so we'll, uh, we'll store all the DFS related folder and namespace there in DFS volume and the last machine is Windows 8.1 client machine which is joined in my domain Here you can see this is my uh, client machine with Windows 8.1 enterprise and we have joined this machine in domain victorinfosol.com and if you want to check you can go ahead and check from here on the victorinfosol.com is running so this is all the infrastructure so let's step by step install DFS and configure how it works so to configure it we need to go to manage add role and features so basically DFS is a role based installation which is coming under the file server role so we'll see select the server name and we need to go to expand the file services and here we have you can see file server is not installed so check file server and DFS name is space which is required uh, which we are going to do in this video so DFS name is space click next and on a feature page don't need to select anything just click next and we need to click on install button to begin the installation of DFS name is space so it will take hardly one or two minutes to get the installation done for DFS name is space then we see how it's work and how to configure DFS namespace so installation succeeded go ahead and close this now if you go here tools you can see here DFS management is installed so double click on it uh, to open the DFS management console and we, here we have a replication and namespace both so if I click on replication you can see there was no option and we don't have also namespace created so let's create new namespace first so so here need to create right click and new namespace and it's asking for server enter the name of the server that hosts the namespace so I want to host the namespace on this server only so win to k 16 DFS if I check it's found server is found click next and we now we have a namespace settings so I'm going to call it like DFS 
public share and we have edit, edit setting here we want to like give permission to any specific user or anything so we can change it so for now I'm going to give the all users read and write permission because this is like I'm creating DFS public shares for all this all the users so and path I'm going to give D drive DFS under the DFS root so click on OK and now if I click next you can see here domain based name space or standalone name is so I'm going to create a domain name based name space so what is difference if you are going to create a domain standalone name space then you need to put the server name then the share name and if you are going to create a domain base you need to put the domain name and it will automatically uh, get the information and in domain share so we are going to do this like in domain base so click next and review the setting what we have done right so click on create and now it's creating so create namespace is success and now if you go here you're able to see the namespace is created here the namespace the namespace server which we have created delegation for which we can change the settings and now if you go here and type the domain name slash enter able to see this is not uh, visible here to access this you can go here and type like victor info soul and the uh, full share path if you don't have path you can go from here you can check the dfsh namespace path and you can open it and you are able to open the uh, if you want to check the like file creation test hi this is text text for file you can go ahead and close this and you can go ahead and check the DFS volume for this file You're able to see their test file also you can you can add new folders here like such as if you want to add you need to provide the path here so like expand this and you can call like HR and local path you can go to DFS and create their one HR folder and make it available and permission you can give like administrator read write whatever you want to give and just make sure um, like name is oh uh, you can make it it and try now if it's work i have created one hr folder that's why might be it's not working so good we have it folder there and click ok and put their name like it why we are not able to create HR because if you go here you can see the HR folder is already there so that's why we are not able to create HR so good to go click ok now we have IT folder here and you can see the share path what is the share path and all the details so so basically this is all about uh, you need to give the permission to users because this is not administrator user if you go here this is a simple user user one which is domain ad uh, which is not a domain admin user so that's why we are not be able to access so if you want to give permissions you can go ahead and uh, modify the permission and give the permission to uh, to a dedicated user to access the your namespace and uh, share folder which is ex uh, under the namespace folder so also you can set the replication for your folders from here so we'll see how how to set the replication on um, DFS in next video so this is all about you can say configuring the DFS uh, namespace and installing and configuring the DFS namespace and you can see the files so you can go ahead and close this so 
so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye